Hello there. So today we actually have concrete proof that what I stated in a video two years ago is actually true. Um, so I will go to that video. So back then um, I stated that um, wider tires are not always better. Um, normally wider tires are better because uh, you with a wider tire you typically have less uh, tire saturation effect. Um, from um, 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 from low transfer uh, and therefore typically uh, going to a wider tire will result in a faster lap time but I did state that there were some exceptions so one uh, tire is too wide for the rim um, two is if the car is too low powered relative to the tire and I stated like this was uh, not for uh, not necessarily for very low powered cars, it can also be cars up to you know 200 300 horsepower. And uh, lastly, if you cannot warm up the rubber. And in this video from Tire Rack, uh, what they did was um, they were using a, uh, a very track focused tire, uh, Bridgestone Potenza RE80s, uh, RE71RS. They were using um. You know, quite a typical track day car, um, a GR86. Uh, oh, thorough testing on it. So that's what we set out to do. We're using. Where? Yeah, so they use the GR86, uh, 2.4 liter, about 230 horsepower. So, um, you know, not that low powered. Um, and their results. Um, so. As you can see, you can definitely go um, too wide for the the amount of uh, tire rim, um, and uh, so in terms of the so so the um, oh man <laughs> the uh, so the first exception uh, mentioned was uh, tires too wide for the rim, and you see. Um, the 245 was too wide, mm, definitely too wide for the 7, definitely too wide for the 8, maybe even for the 9. Uh, and then the second exception was if the car is too low powered. So this is a 230 horsepower car and you see that even when going to a 9 inch uh, wide rim, which was definitely not too narrow for the 245, the 245 was still slower than the 225. And uh, Tire Rack even made sure to go down um, in the uh, um, in the aspect ratio so that the uh, exterior diameter was kept the same, therefore didn't change the gearing when going from 225 to 245. Um, so this is different from um, the experience I had in my car, uh, but then my car was uh, a lot higher powered. So uh, in my 340 horsepower M3 Compact, um, the 245 was definitely faster than the 225. But then, uh, so as mentioned, that is a uh, that car has about 50% more horsepower and also weighs uh, somewhat more than the GR86. Um, so I definitely recommend uh, checking out this video. Um, there were some interesting trends. So um, the narrow rim, uh, typically with with all across all the tires, the, the the comment was that the car is more lazy and easier to drive, but easier to drive at the limit, uh, but slower. Um, and uh, this is, you know, what you would expect because the the tires are, you know, a little bit more like a balloon. Um, and um, the wider rim uh, stretches out the 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 tire sidewall, and therefore um, the the lateral um, uh, compliance is is much uh, much less. Um, so. Having a wider rim, the, the, the car feels more direct, more the uh, breakaway is more abrupt, so the skill required from the driver is, is higher, but um, the, the car ends up being faster. Um, and yeah, as mentioned, um, 
there was definitely it, it was definitely possible to go too wide uh, with with this car. So it seems like um, uh, with a 230-ish horsepower car, then uh, going much above 225 uh, doesn't make sense. But of course, this depends on the track as well. If if the track has much higher uh, cornering energy, uh, it might be that um, the a a somewhat wider tire can still give benefit. Um, so in the end, I think the the, the answer is to um, to use a tire temperature um, pyrometer. Uh, check your tire temperatures after um, after running, and also you know use use a stopwatch. Okay. Hope that was interesting. Uh, till the next one.